Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC 200 alongside the victorious Juliana Pena who defeated Katzingano tonight. Wow, what a victory. Thank you. That to me was one of your most impressive inside the octagon. Yeah. And you're smiling. How about this? <laughs> Congratulations. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Um, well, I wanted the finish and I didn't get the finish, so I'm a little bit bummed about that. But uh, Kat's a tough girl and I am very excited. This was the toughest fight of my career so far and, and to get the win, is it's an honor. How did you adjust after, I thought losing the first round, you obviously won the second and third. What adjustments did you make between the first and second? Um, probably just like a, a little bit more of a sense of urgency. I, I lost the first, but I wasn't too worried about it. Um, I knew that I would come back stronger in the second and the third. You really neutralized her on the ground. Did you see that opening? Was that something that you couldn't get in the first that you know she gave you something in the second? Yeah, no, I think that uh, I kind of let her, you know, gas out a little bit. And then um, I was trying as hard as I could to get and build a frame. Um, it wasn't working out. And um, I wasn't able to take her back like I wanted to. So I, I, I do do a good job of fighting off my back. And so I wasn't too worried about, you know, her in my guard or her being on top. I knew I'd get it in the later rounds. So you told me on uh, Thursday you're benching yourself if you don't get a title shot. Are you getting a title shot? I have no idea. Did I, you talk to Dana? No, well, I did, but uh, he said... You just well, lied and then told the truth in the same sentence. I, I, you, you have a way of doing that to me, <laughs> Ariel. Um, no, Dana said uh, that we'll see what happens, you know, but seriously, I don't I don't know why, why not, you know. I don't see anything else in my future right now. Tremendous promo at the press conference. 7-0, you've done it all, you've beat them all. What more do you have to do? I thought you laid it out perfectly in there. Well, I mean, all these girls have beat each other. They've all tapped. They've all beat each other. It's kind of been a round robin between all of them. Not one of them has been able to tap me, and not one of them has been able to beat me. So, in my opinion, I'm just like, what, what else do I have to do here, you know? I know you're friends, but is a part of you really happy that Misha's not the champion? Does that open the door for you? I'm so sad that Misha lost because I think that she is a champion inside and outside the cage. But a part of me is very happy because, you know, I didn't want to have to fight my friend, and I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to do that right now. What's the message to Amanda Nunes? Will she take your fight, or is she going to try to go for a Ronda or some of these, you know, what's the message? Amanda Nunes, I'm going to ragdoll you worse than Kat did, okay? We'll leave it at that. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Ariel. Enjoy it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.